So previously we were talking about deadlifting, whereas today we're going through alternatives to the deadlift, but where you can still hit that posterior chain and still get the most out of it without actually having to do the deadlift itself. This might be because you've got an injury or you're trying to rehab in a certain area, or you just get pain or niggles when you do the deadlift. But it might be a case you're just looking for something different. Today we've got seven alternatives that you can try which are really good at hitting that posterior chain. Number one is bridging. We're cheating a little bit here because we are gonna give a ton of different variations of bridging that you can do. Just have a go, see what you like, see what works best for you. We've got progressions, regressions of all different ones, so you'll find one that will suit you. One variation is the machine hip thruster. So with this, you will need the machine in the gym, but don't worry, we've got loads of other alternatives if you haven't got this. What you wanna be doing is really forcing the hips forward, but making sure it's all about the glute contraction as you're coming up to do it. You also wanna be feeling this in the hamstrings as well. And this isn't just applying to the machine one, this is gonna to apply to all the variations that we're gonna show you. If you're in a gym, but you don't have one of those machines, you can use a barbell instead. With this, you can load up the weights as much as you want to increase the difficulty. Alternative equipment that you can use in the gym as well, includes things like a Swiss ball, you can use a TRX or a suspension trainer, and you can make these harder by doing a single leg as well. And if you have no equipment at all, then you can just do normal bridging on the floor. And you can make this harder by lifting your toes off the floor, so you push in just through the heels. And again, you can do this just with a single leg. And this might look quite easy, but 15 reps on a single leg done properly with good form, you will definitely feel that. Number two is a kettlebell swing. You will need a kettlebell for this. The whole point of this is to work as like a hip hinge. So your hips go backward and then it's the glute contraction going forward that brings the momentum of the kettlebell up rather than you're lifting it with your shoulders. So it's quite an explosive movement. The weight that you use for the kettlebell would be a lot lighter than used for the deadlift, but it's still a very effective exercise for strengthening that posterior chain. Number three is hyperextensions. These are a great one. You would need a machine for this one. You can focus this one more on the lower back or the hamstring or glutes, depending on where you focus it and what you're working that contraction on. You can lift the body up using the lower back or you can work to contract the glutes and the hamstrings to perform the same movement. Try the variation to feel the difference depending on what you're wanting to work on most. You can make this harder by adding weight and you can do that holding it at the front or with a barbell on the back and then you can build this up with even heavier weights to increase that difficulty. Number four is a reverse hyperextension. Now this one is a lot harder than it looks. These were originally made up by a guy called Louis Simmons of Westside Barbell, who'd hurt his back deadlifting and wanted a way to still effectively work the posterior chain during his recovery. I broke my back in 73 and I came up with a reverse hyper idea. Broke it again, L5, you wanna take out two discs through my back, I refused to do that. I did acupuncture, acupressure, um, stretched and reverse hypers. And so the reverse hyper was born. Now, unfortunately, the machines are really hard to come by in gyms and not widely available. But we have some alternatives that you can try instead with just some simple equipment in a gym. One of these will involve a Swiss ball. It's not quite as good because you can't get as good range, but it's still really effective at targeting the same muscle group. You just need to anchor your body with your legs free and work on lifting the legs again, working on that glute contraction for the movement. Another alternative is using a weights bench. This needs to be sturdy one so it doesn't tip up. And if this is too hard, then just do a single leg at a time. Number five is a single leg Romanian deadlift or a single leg RDL. This is basically like an RDL, but just on a single leg as the name suggests. This is a great one for rehab work and for stability. The general movement will require again a neutral spine with a chest up and this can be made easier with lifting the back leg higher. The leg being worked is the one on the floor. Again, looking to contract the glutes to bring the body up. Work to keep the hips level rather than rotating and escaping to make it easier. You can make this harder by adding weight, which will be a lot lighter than the standard RDL. You can also put a single weight on the opposite hand if you want to incorporate more glute need. Number six is Nordics. This is a great exercise for the hamstrings and shown to be one of the best for preventing hamstring injuries. You can use a machine, again, quite rare to come across, but we're lucky enough to have access to one in our gym. Otherwise, you can use a mate. 
you really want to be working on the eccentric portion of this one, the lowering phase. And to get the most benefit, you know what I'm gonna say, contract your glutes and keep your hips forward. A lot bend at the hips to escape and make it easier. Hold it for as long as you can as you lower, then push yourself back up to the starting position. To make it harder, don't push up as hard, so you have to work even harder with the hamstrings to finish the movement. You can progress this even further with the razor curl, which we won't be demoing because you've got no chance. But you can check out this ridiculously strong guy doing it. Number seven is supermans or bird dogs, with another variation of swimming, which we'll show you as well. These are the easier ones of the lot and something you can use if you wanna build into some of the harder exercise that we've shown today or working to build into the deadlift. This is a bodyweight exercise. Starting with the Superman or bird dog, whatever you wanna call it, you start on your hands and knees and then straighten the opposite arm and leg at the same time. Pause and return and then complete on the other side. The other variation of this, the swimming, is where you're flat on the floor and this time the same thing, raising the opposite arm and leg and then swapping over. All of these are great ways for strengthening the posterior chain. Something you can use for rehabbing, such as for low back pain, or to complement building up to the deadlift, or just nice variations to still hit the same muscle groups in a slightly different way. You can check out our previous videos where we talked about deadlifting and the variations of deadlifts if you wanna progress from these exercises and try something different with that. If you did enjoy this video and you found it useful, then please give us a like, share it with your friends, and we'll see you on the next video.